Hey, it's Heath Mulliken again. It is day two of Huntington's Disease Awareness Month. Thanks again for watching this video. It's every day in May. I'll be sharing a little bit about our journey and also about Huntington's disease. So I want to share with you today a little bit about uh, how Karen started showing symptoms of Huntington's disease. Now, one of the mistakes that I made because I had not, I had never been around someone who was in the early stages of Huntington's disease. So I really didn't know what to look for. And at the time, Karen started showing symptoms. Uh, we had three young children. We had made several moves and we were both dealing with a lot of depression and anxiety. And so those are things that a lot of people deal with, but they're also symptoms of Huntington's disease. And so there were several years uh, where Karen kept battling depression. She kept battling anxiety. Uh, she was um, making not necessarily irrational decisions, but she would make very spontaneous decisions and she couldn't really she couldn't really pinpoint what she wanted to do you know one day she was wanting to pursue uh, this degree and the next day it would be this degree and a lot of that was just she couldn't uh, her mind was going through all these changes as it was developing Huntington's disease and I just mistook all of that for simple depression and anxiety and I feel terrible every day uh, that I didn't do more to help her with those, not just those symptoms, but I didn't do more to find out about Huntington's disease and start the process of getting her the care uh, that she needs. And so there were very uh, tough years in our marriage and there were very tough years in our family as we were just kind of going through all these things. And as many of you know, I'm a pastor and being a pastor is a hard thing. And there are a lot of pastors who struggle with depression and anxiety and I'm I'm one of them and so you can imagine as you've got you know two people in the home and they're both dealing with these emotions and the ups and downs and so it was only by the grace of God that we made it through those times it was the grace of God it was the love of some great churches the love of our great families uh, but maybe you're out here today uh, and again Huntington's disease uh, it is hereditary and if that's you I would just encourage you to to pray about getting tested it's a very personal uh, decision it was something Karen and I thought long and hard about it was something we prayed very seriously about and there are some great genetic counselors out there who who walk you through uh, not just helping you uh, make that decision or whether or not it's right for you but they also walk you through uh, what to do after you get tested and so our genetic counselor back in uh, 2002 uh, had us write out a plan. And so we had a plan. As soon as we were going to receive our test results, we had a place we were going. We had our list of people we were going to call, and uh, we had a plan. And so from day one, uh, thanks to our genetic counselor, we started building uh, this support team. And many of you... Uh, are part of that support team. You pray for us, you call us, you text us, you message us on Facebook. Uh, you are, you really are part of what God uses to keep our family going. And so we're asking you for your support again. Go to teammulliken.com and you can get the brand new uh, Fight Against Huntington's Disease uh, t-shirt that we're uh, sponsoring for the month of May. I am wearing uh, last year's model of the t-shirt. We've got brand new ones. You can pick this one up, doubledropkick.com slash HD. But Team Mulliken takes you to our brand new t-shirt. And every t-shirt we sell in the month of May, we're going to donate a dollar to the Huntington's Disease Society of America. And if you want to find out about more about that great organization, you can go to hdsa.org. If you want to follow our family, obviously you can follow me on Facebook. Some of you are watching this on YouTube. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. But also you can go on Facebook. Uh, Karen still has a profile there. She's not active anymore. You can join Karen Mulliken's support team where I do my best to give monthly updates. I give uh, prayer requests there that I don't necessarily share publicly. But I would encourage you just to join us in our fight against Huntington's disease. This is a journey that is going to be a long journey for our family, uh, not just with Karen, but also with our children. And so from the bottom of my heart, 
Uh, I'm asking you to take this journey with us. But also from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Uh, your support, your prayers, your love means the world to our family. So thanks for watching this. Uh, don't forget teammullican.com is where you can get the brand new t-shirt. I would love uh, so many of our great friends have posted pictures of them wearing a Team Mullican shirt. Thanks to Tracy Sanders and so many like him. People from literally all over the country buying these t-shirts. So thank you so much. God bless and we'll see you soon.